Welcome to this QuickBooks tutorial on how to record proceeds of a PPP loan. Okay, my name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University and the PPP loan is the program that came out uh, from the government uh, here in the US uh, through the SBA and you got it through your bank. Now PPP stands for uh, Paycheck Protection Program. And so the unique benefits about this uh, loan that the SBA is giving is that there are no personal guarantees, there are no collateral, and that if you maintain your payroll and your headcount over the eight weeks from the time you get your loan, uh, and, and at least spend 75% of the loan proceeds on payroll, then this loan will be forgiven. Okay, and so now you need to know how to record this in QuickBooks uh, when you get this money. Okay, so I want to walk through how to do that in QuickBooks. All right. So the first thing you're going to do here is you're going to uh, go to your chart of accounts. All right. So you pull up your chart of accounts here and you're going to scroll down to where you see the liability section. Now, this uh, we're going to set this up as a liability to begin. Okay, because we don't know how much is going to be forgiven, if any, and we need to show this as money coming into the business and we need to record it somehow. So we're going to create an account for this. Now, some people are saying, should I set this up as an other current liability or is this a long term liability? Now, I would set it up as a long term liability. And the reason being is because uh, there are. Uh, no payments on this for the next six months, and then it's it's paid back over two years. Okay, so it is it it extends beyond a year, and so uh, we want to record this as a long term liability. All right, so we need to set up an account for this, and I'm in this sample company file here, and since I've got a numbering system, uh, I'm going to look up here, and I'm just going to say twenty eight nine fifty is going to be my next one, and so that's where I'm going to put this. All right, so I'm going to say account new. We're going to call this a long term liability. I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to say 28950. And I am going to call this a PPP loan. All right. Now you can call this a paycheck protection loan. You can call it a PPL. You can, you know, something to signify I'm putting in paycheck protection program loan, PPP loan. Now, you may have long-term liabilities and loans set up uh, as sub-accounts. You can by all means do that. I'm going to leave this as its own account, PPP loan. Okay, so I'm going to hit save and close. All right. Now, uh, if you have the bank feeds coming in and this money is deposited into your account and you need to classify it, when you do classify it, I want you to classify it to this PPP loan. All right. Now you can also go up here and say, okay, banking make deposits because Typically what's going to happen is the bank is going to fund this and the bank is going to say, you know, go ahead, what account do you want to put this in at our bank? And you're going to specify what account and uh, they will deposit it to the account. Okay. So these are payments to deposit. I'm going to cancel this uh, for this video. Okay. So we're going to say, let's say that this was received by, um, I'm going to say SunTrust Bank. Okay. And we're going to quick add this, okay, uh, as a vendor because they're not in the sample file. Okay, so now from account, we're going to choose PPP loan. All right, and we're going to say this is PPP loan proceeds. Okay, uh, you can put in a check number. There probably isn't one payment method, class, and then amount. Okay, so let's say that your PPP loan was $50,000. All right. Okay. So this deposit now is going to show up into our SunTrust bank account. Uh, and we're going to say from account, or, or actually it's going to show up into the checking account. It's from SunTrust bank. Uh, and it's going to be recorded as PPP loan. All right. So let me show you how this works now. And some people may say, well, why are we setting this up as a loan? It's going to be forgiven. Well, in the beginning, it is a loan. Now, it may be forgiven as long as you meet the requirements. And so we are on the front end going to set this up as a liability. All right, so I'm going to hit save and close. All right, so now you can see here PPP loan, the balance of $50,000 right there. And you'll see in the checking account, if I double click this, you can see my deposit here of $50,000. Okay. All right, so 
this is how you're going to record this money coming into your business. Now, uh, when they do come out with further guidance on forgiveness and what that looks like, uh, that's going to create other issues that we'll talk about how to record that on the back end when part of this loan is forgiven, because it will no longer be a liability and it will not be taxable income. Okay. So we're going to need a way to record this uh, in QuickBooks. Okay. Any questions whatsoever, this is how to put that money into QuickBooks to reflect that you got a PPP loan. Uh, any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment or a question below this video. Uh, and feel free to head over to the QuickBooks University where I teach you everything you need to know about QuickBooks. When you become a member, the website is qbuniversity.org.